What if I told you that all new Harley Davidson motorcycles are going to be recalled? Let's get into it. Hello, welcome to Revelator Alpha. Hope you're all well. So yes, uh, out and about on the heroic Harley here again. Now, uh, this video is all about, yes, recalls on Harley Davidson motorcycles. Now, every motorcycle manufacturer, every automobile manufacturer in the world occasionally will have to do a recall on a particular vehicle we know that uh, whatever it is and it could be for a spurious thing of the tiniest little thing or it could be for something major that affects the safety of that vehicle now harley davidson are no different in this regard and uh, let's face it 2022 this is where i'm making this video right now uh yeah they've had to have two recalls uh for sportsters for a brake reservoir sticker or something like that and the uh, pan america that had to have a, a new screen that was given uh, false information anyway so they've had a couple of recalls anyway so the question is um why are people surprised when there is a recall especially on a new motorcycle so i want to let you into a little secret let's say or a bit of insight so in my industry uh, that i uh, officially do um we always say then when a new product comes to market uh, actually it's it's at that, that point where it starts to become field tested it really starts to have the bone shaken out of it basically and that's because you get many hands uh, using these products and they're out in the field as it were and uh, this is where real problems everyday problems come to light uh, everyday scenarios that maybe weren't even thought about in the R&D process or in the manufacturers testing process so in the field they come to light so they think right okay um yeah we have to readdress that we're gonna have to recall this and issue a fix let's say now sometimes it is a serious issue of course it is and it could be uh, affecting the safety you know the motorcycle could explode it can you know when you touch the brake and a combination of touching the brake and hitting the indicator all of a sudden the wheels fall off or something like that you know so it could be something really serious or it could just be a faulty connection or uh, a little bit of grease that hasn't been applied properly or you know whatever it is what they can do then in subsequent model years and they can address that issue and make changes so that it's from that point onwards it's not manufactured in that way or they found a fix for it let's say but for those vehicles that have already been affected, they have to recall them in. Yes, you have to, you get a letter from the manufacturer and it will say, take your bike to the nearest dealership and they will do this fix for you. Um, and we all know what those are, right? But the point I'm trying to make here is that sometimes when we hear of a recall it becomes like uh the whispers you know in the, in the ether it's almost like it's a really bad thing or it's a surprising thing or it becomes something that you can hang your hat on and say look harley davidson in this case harley davidson oh they're terrible look they've just had to have their vehicles or well, that motorcycle record God, we always knew they were rubbish but i could say the same for indian or i could say the same for triumph being w ducati whatever it is at some point some manufacturer is going to have a recall of a particular component motorcycle whatever it is and it doesn't necessarily mean that there's a problem with the motorcycle company or the manufacturers as a whole it's just one particular part might have been overlooked in the manufacturing process or once it's become field tested in other words it's sold to us as members of the public and we're using it on a daily basis that we start to discover there are issues and it could be suspension issues we know those have happened before it could be oil pump issues as well you know we know that's happened before that so they address it in later model years yes and sometimes absolutely companies like harley davidson are slow to react maybe even slow to admit uh something like this um you know whatever it is and it's not necessarily just about m8 engines here i'm talking about you could say about the evos twin cams whatever shovel heads whatever it is there's always going to be a problem at some point that the company has to recall or address or fix for subsequent model years but that doesn't necessarily mean as i say there's a problem with harley davidson or the all the motorcycles they produce 
and exactly the same for any other motorcycle manufacturer you can't judge a manufacturer just because there's a glitch in the system let's say or there's a problem with a particular model you know you've got to judge them as a whole now let's just say if every motorcycle they were bringing out or every model year had a defect and it had to be adjusted or they had to be fixed or that they, they could never really fix it then yes you could definitely hang your hat on that one but don't be surprised when new models come out and there's always problems with them in the first second year it happens all the time when i reviewed the harley davidson pan america with a brand new revolution max engine i said this very thing in fact before i rode it and before i reviewed it i was kind of previewing the vehicle and i was saying on my videos it will have problems it will have recalls it will have things that won't work very well and they'll fix them in the first couple of years and perhaps they, that fell on deaf ears i don't know but guess what there have been problems with that motorcycle uh, no doubt but it's a, not a surprise but would i say although it's had problems that it's not a good bike to buy well no i wouldn't say that at all in fact i'd say it's a quite a decent bike to buy if you're into that kind of motorcycle it seems like a decent bike if you really want to do some general adventure bike riding it depends if it's your style of course it depends if you prefer that over another brand there's so many different factors of course but it's still a decent bike it's still made by harley davidson and they they've done a pretty good job in fact i think they surprised a lot of people with that so this revolution max engine yeah it's always going to have teething problems because it's very early years but on the whole they've done a decent job i'd say harley davidson so you know bravo for them well done but don't be surprised if there are recalls on new motorcycles of any brand but certainly harley davidson and, and i wouldn't say i wouldn't say at all that harley davidson deserve any kind of excessive criticism for any recall or defective item on a motorcycle on a new motorcycle this is uh, because they need to iron these things out they need to be fixed and no matter how much r d no matter how much testing that you do on a product before it launches to market these things always happen they do you know i'm not saying with every particular model but they do tend to happen anyway i thought i'd bring that to you because sometimes the whispers can get a little bit loud a little bit deafening uh, and the criticism can be a little bit unjustified sometimes whilst whilst it could be right to uh, have concerns and right to be worried and right to you know say look hey fix my bike now under warranty please and why did they do it like that yes these are all justifiable questions of course but as i say you know to blame a whole manufacturer or to you know just say they're absolute rubbish based upon a recall item or something that's defective yeah i you know i think we need to rein that in a little bit sometimes and you know this is coming to somebody from me who you know is not shy about laying criticism when it's due so you know take that as you want it really but anyway listen i thought i'd bring that to you don't forget to subscribe hit that bell like and share check out the website revelator.com ta-da